Hi everyone, I'm that UK gamer, although in this episode you may see I'm wearing my uh, beret, which is authentically French because I actually bought it in the town of Boulogne near Calais. So I suppose in that case, am I that French gamer? Maybe. I just saw it so I thought I'd put it on because my hair's a total mess and it sort of half hides it. So yeah, anyway, that against the point. Welcome to the video and thank you and welcome to all new subscribers and thank you to everyone who's commented on the videos lately. It's much appreciated and if I haven't replied already, I will be shortly. Sorry if it takes a little while sometimes. Uh, hope you enjoyed the last couple of videos. So in this case, in the video you can see we have an unboxing as per the video title and the thumbnail. So I hope you enjoy it. But... As I'm sure again, you can tell, this unboxing is of the Alex Kid in Miracle World remake, which it has, well, is I guess, at the time of recording, coming out for the Nintendo Switch. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure what day it's due out. I saw something on Google saying the 22nd. I saw Amazon or something said the 25th. I saw somewhere else say the 24th. I thought it was the 24th, because I remember when I saw it, I think it was on the site where I go from, it said the 24th, and mentioned it was the day after Sonic's 30th birthday, which is on the 23rd. Either way, we are on Monday the 21st of June, and therefore this copy has arrived early. Whether it's tomorrow, Thursday or Friday, or next week, or whatever. Point is, it's early. So... A little background, which I am recording after the fact because it didn't occur to me to say it during the video. And yeah, I've got an itchy nose and hay fever, so little heads up there as well. Uh, background with Alex Kid Miracle World. So when I was about five, my first console was the Master System 2. Not the one I have now, I bought another one. And it had Alex Kid Miracle World built in. I also believe the only other game I got at the time was Sonic 2 for the Master System. And that inspired my love for Sonic, which has grown quite a lot now, admittedly. Um, but, and I think Sonic 2 was more my game. But Alex Kid stood out because, if nothing else, it was definitely one of the first games I had given it's built into my first console. So, when I heard this was coming out of the remake, I had to get it. And because of the nostalgia and what this particular game, game means to me, I had to get this collection, edition, which I don't normally do. There's been other ones I wish I could have got, but I couldn't. Hopefully it's be the first of many, as long as they're not too expensive. As if that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, I love... It's colourful, but it's simplistic. But it's still got that challenge to play, especially later on. And that stupid octopus in the pot trying to get that out of the way. If you've played the game, you'll know what I mean. Um, I love the rock, paper, scissors, or Jankin, or Rishambo, I think it's called. A concept for boss battles that's different as well as punching a ball in the nose, because why not? Again, if you played the game, you'll know what I mean. But yeah, so for now, let's get into this unboxing. And I'm sorry if this video doesn't make sense because of the cutting and editing, but I'll do my best. So, let's have a look at the box. Firstly, nice orange pair of scissors. And this is the box. Over, taking the label off. But as you can see, still sealed. I have not seen anything in here. So, let's unbox it and let's see what is in this Alex Kid Miracle World DX Collects Edition. There we go. The tape has now been cut and hopefully it will open. I said hopefully. It's coming. It's coming. We have this. Okay, there's nothing else in the box. We have some lovely pink bubble wrap. And you can see it right there. So let's open the bubble wrap. That's nice and easy. And how cool is that? I love the fact it's still got the grid pattern of the uh, Master System. This is one game I own but I don't own for the Master System. I have the Master System 2 with it built in. I don't actually have a physical copy of the original 
yeah, I'll build it. I do have the manual somewhere, and I hope to find it. And if I do, I'll put a picture of it in the video up here or up here or somewhere. Um, yeah. So, this is by Merge Games, and it came from Signature Edition. Uh, as you can see, got it right there. Alex Kid Miracle World DX Signature Edition. And here is the back with a preview of everything that's in the box. But we'll be going into that in a minute. It does actually look like a giant Switch box, to be fair. So, let's do this. Preferably without damaging anything. Got a little worried there for a sec. Because it suddenly went, but I think it just found the gap. Okay. So the things coming off. A bit out of time. There we go. It's going everywhere. Here it is. And this is a pretty black box. So let's see what's in the black box. Get it off like that. Okay, that's cool. So, on the top, we have from the Kingdom of Nibbana Authenticity Certificate. That's pretty cool. Uh, number 1773 and signatures are assuming the people who made the remake. But, feels quite good. Quality card, actually. Yeah, could be a cool thing to frame, put on the wall. What we got next? Okay. An art book. A bit weird, seeing it all pale. The art behind Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX. We got Old Men. I also love the fact it's still got the uh, graphic graph book uh, style texture. Other characters. I'm not going to go through the whole book. I'll just show you bits every now and then. Some blob, slimy stuff. A fish which almost looks a bit like a coughing. If you follow Pokemon, you'll know what I mean. Uh, one more. Some items. So yeah, I remember these. The ring. Uh, what else we got? The money bag. And the telepathy ball. Yeah. Okay. Next thing we have is... Okay, it's slightly shifted, but we have some pins. Oh, there we go. It's just back into place. You can see he's on his motorbike, the petacopter, and the speedboat. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so the three pins, so that's pretty cool. I actually have a uh, cork board below the pins. Mostly ones from the Pokemon cards, but not just that. So I don't, no doubt they'll go on them. Okay, next is the game, but we'll come to that. What else have we got? We've got... The soundtrack. Okay, let's have a look. So there's the CD. That's quite a cool looking CD. Bit of a shame it doesn't have the original soundtracks by the look of it. 41 tracks and all. Including the brilliantly named Mount Cave. <laughs> but yeah. I was actually listening to the original versions of this earlier in preparation for this. So I'm intrigued to see how the music compares. But just quickly, I don't know where you're able to see it, but there's the tracks. Might also be back to front, in which case I apologise. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, okay. So, great, more cellophane. It's not playing cards per se, it's rock, paper, scissors, cards. Um, let's see if we can open it quickly. Make sure you do this under the supervision of an adult. You don't want to get the scissors sliced in your hand open. 
I've already had it happen to me with tears, so I'd rather not do it again. Did get me an afternoon off school though. And freak out my uh, technology woodwork teacher at the time. So yeah. My general advice is do not stick stuff in your hands. And I'm talking from experience. Let's so see the fence come off. In fact, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a mark. Uh, where is it? Just there. I don't know, you probably can't see it. But there's a mark there. That's where the chisel went in. Okay, so cards are open. There's the box. Back is fairly plain. Can't open the box. That's good, isn't it? I can't open it. Open! Yeah! There we go. Let's have a quick look. So that's what the back of the cards look like. And yeah, it's a scissor head. Or if I was, for some reason, the first name that came to my mind was Finger Guy, which is probably a better thing called scissor head, but yeah. Just quick glimpse at the cards. Stonehead. Yeah, probably shouldn't be called that. And Paperhead. Which definitely seems the uh, least inappropriate of the lot. And then there's a how to play card there as well. So I will have to figure this out and give it a go at some point. Um, yeah, and if you don't know, I actually like a few card games. Mostly the Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh ones, but and I will probably start uploading some videos of them before too long. And no, I'm not getting into the Pokemon card craze for this money in it. I've been playing, collecting on and off since it started. It's just my girlfriend's got into it, so I started collecting them again. Uh, I think just before the Sword and Shield started, so about two years ago. Okay, so, a couple more bits. This is the uh, little bag, and it represents the money bags in the... Uh, Game, admittedly, I thought it was going to be a bit bigger than that, but it's still a cool little thing to have. And inside it, I can feel one more thing, which is the medallion. Oh, my God, this is going to swing. So, yeah, it's a nice little medallion there. Actually, there is supposed to be one more thing. Ah, unless... One sec. Yeah, okay. So there's two more things, but they are in here. So let's open this up next. So this is the case. Looks pretty cool. Uh, that's the back. So you just fell on the floor. Uh, let's open this. If I can open the cellophane, because of course there's more cellophane, because why wouldn't there be more cellophane? Here we go. I'll probably be doing a switch pickups video before too long. Uh, along with this, I have two more which are due out this week. And I recently picked up two others. So keep an eye out for that. So we open the case up. There's one. Okay, that is cool. So I'm going to hold off on that for now. We have some sort of French information leaflet. Let's see. Avis exige confirmant or decree. Yeah, I could read it if I could, probably, but I can't. I probably should do, given I've got the beret, but I don't know. Something about precautions for when you use the video game and something about warnings for epilepsy. So basically, uh, safety information guy. So, firstly, key ring. Alex Kidd Miracle World DX. That is so cool. That'll probably go on my court board as well. This is the first thing I'm really excited about. Yeah. A, there's a manual with the Switch game. And B, it's in the style of the old Master System ones. And again, if I can find my old Master System one in time, I'll put a picture of it here so you can compare the two. 
Um, yeah. It's so small, though. I'd say it's, what, half the size of the Mars System one? Maybe? You take the total area into account, isn't it? Getting all into mathematical detail now. That is definitely just like the old Mars System game. So that is a cool touch. But you know it's an even cooler touch. That. The inside of the case looks just like the Master's one. I had no idea about that. So I think I'm going to have to change it over. I actually have done that before with all my Switch games are red. Apart from this Sonic Mania where I went for the Mega Drive cover. So I've done it for one Sega game. I think it's only right if I do it for another one. Especially one so influential from my childhood. So... Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that. In fact, let's do it now quickly. If we can get it out. There we go. I will show you the cart in a second as well. There we go. Let's just slide that in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is cool. Probably need to shift it a little tiny bit. There we go. Yeah, I like. And then, of course, you've got the cartridge. So, which, in case you can't see it clearly, has the red grid mark thing that was seen on old Master System cartridges. Uh, ah, there we go. And, just for comparison, Different Alex Kids game for the Master System. You can see the similarity now in the red bit at the top. So you can definitely see they've called in the uh, Master System here with this and the manual. In fact, you could argue with that, with the dis design on the cartridge and that, it is basically a Master System game now. Which is cool. Especially one that's called Alex Kids in Milk Bar. So, that's the unboxing. There's now uh, an empty box on the floor with a big pink bubble wrap envelope, a ton of cellophane, and all the collectible bits, which I've got to put back, and the other couple of games I shared. But otherwise, yeah. Um, I said, uh, well, ignore it. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will be seeing you all in hopefully part three of the pickups video where I'll be sharing Nintendo games and other games soon. And I've got a couple other bits lined up, including I said Switch pickups, so hopefully they'll be out soon. But really hope you've enjoyed this video. Did you ever play Alex the Miracle World, the original one, own it physically, digitally on the Mars system, or even just re download it on recent consoles? I've got it on my Nintendo Switch, for example. Let me know, and if you really enjoyed it. And if it wasn't your Master System game, what was it? Sonic 1, or was it Hang On or something from the Master System 1? More importantly, are you getting this copy? Yes, I've put it back in its box because I'm recording this after. Again, poor editing. Um, are you going to be, well, getting the Alex Kid Miracle World DX. Not necessarily this exact one, because you might get it for PlayStation or Xbox or digitally or just the game. Point is, are you going to be getting the game in some form or another? Let me know. And let's see who is an Alex Kid fan. Okay. Anyway. This has been Alex Kid in the Miracle World DX. And now I need to go give it a go. So I made the review later on. But for now... Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more videos, which will be coming soon because I am coming back, whether you like it or not. And I will see you soon. Au revoir.